Fippy Goes to the Zoo, a Kubernetes story. I'm bored, Aunt Fippy. Z slouched further down on the couch. What are we going to do today? Why not go see the animals, said Fippy with a smile. We'll go to the zoo. Yeah, Z let out a whoop and ran to find some shoes. The first animals they came upon were the size of squirrels. Furry and blue, each little animal carried a tiny box as they unceasingly zipped back and forth. Those, said Fippy, are pods. All day and all night they run back and forth carrying their little containers. Is that all they do, Aunt Fippy? Yep, see, for their entire lives, that's all the pods do. They run. In Kubernetes, pods are responsible for running your containers. Every pod holds at least one container and controls the execution of that container. When the containers exit, the pod dies too. As Fippy and Z walked on, they saw a large glass enclosure. Pressed against the window was a line of happy little meerkat faces. Those are the replica set, said Fippy. As Z watched, the face on the right grinned widely and tipped itself off the ledge. In unison, the others hopped over to fill the space, and then an identical meerkat scurried up on the left side. Every time one little replica falls, another one hops right up, explained Fippy. A replica set ensures that a set of identically configured pods are running at the desired replica count. If a pod drops off, the replica set brings a new one online as a replacement. Walking further, Z pointed out a clump of burrows and warrens. While there were plenty of signs that the area was inhabited, neither Fippy nor Z could see a single movement. The secrets are in here, said Fippy, but you can't see them without these decoder glasses. Z took the pair of glasses Fippy offered, slid them on, and blushed. Oh my, I think I'm ready to go on now, Aunt Fippy. Z handed back the glasses, and onward they went. Secrets are used to store non-public information, such as tokens, certificates, or passwords. Secrets can be attached to pods at runtime, so that sensitive configuration data can be stored securely in the cluster. A group of iguanas gathered near a large slingshot along the shore of a pond. An island stood in the center of the water. An iguana threw herself into the slingshot, and the other iguanas launched the little beast toward the island. The deployments release a group onto the island. Right now, they're trying to get three out there, said Fippy. At that moment, another iguana rocketed into the air, but missed the island with a colossal splash in the pond. Fippy said, if they miss, they just keep trying until they get as many as they need. A deployment is a higher order abstraction that controls deploying and maintaining a set of pods. Behind the scenes, it uses a replica set to keep the pods running, but it offers sophisticated logic for deploying, updating, and scaling a set of pods within a cluster. Several stone pillars arose from a grassy knoll, and at the top of each sat a vulture. As Z and Fippy watched, one vulture spread its wings and flapped off into the distance. No sooner had one left than another took its place. Z asked, what are they doing? Those are demon sets, said Fippy. They make sure to occupy every pillar, rain or shine, day or night. I bet that if we added a new pillar, a new bird would land on it faster than you could say, cube cuddle, chuckled Fippy. Demon sets provide a way to ensure that a copy of a pod is running on every node in the cluster. As a cluster grows and shrinks, the demon set spreads these specifically labeled pods across all of the nodes. As they walked on, they saw an aquarium with an enormous reef. Edge to edge, it appeared that the rock would keep anything from passing from one side to the other. Z watched as hundreds of tiny fish made a dash for the center of the face of the rock. At full speed, the fish swam into a hole bored into the rock face and momentarily vanished from sight. Z let out a gasp. Multicolored flashes erupted from the opposite side of the coral. Instead of coming out of a single hole, the fish seemed to materialize from tiny fissures all over the far side of the rock. Ingresses are beautiful, said a dreamy-eyed Bibby. Enchanted, Z muttered, uh-huh. Ingresses provide a way to declare that traffic ought to be channeled from the outside of the cluster into destination points within the cluster. 
One single external ingress point can accept traffic destined to many different internal surfaces. Z pointed to the raccoons sprawled motionless in the next enclosure. What's wrong with them? Suddenly, one sprung to its feet, did jumping jacks, then settled back down for another nap. Those are cron jobs, said Fippy. Mostly they just sleep, but periodically they spring into action to do a specific job. As she spoke, another bolted upright, grabbed a broom, swept the entire enclosure, and then dropped off to sleep again. Aunt Fippy, can I bring that one home to clean my room? Fippy laughed as they walked on. Cronjobs provide a method for scheduling the execution of pods. They are excellent for running periodic tasks like backups, reports, and automated tests. Z halted abruptly. In the distance, a black railed fence arose. The arches above the pen were marked CRD. Between the bars, Z could make out some peculiar critters. A giraffe with a hippopotamus head a snake with raccoon ears, a lion with a beaver's tail, a unicorn with no horn. Z wasn't sure she liked the looks of that place. Oh, said Fippy, a look of concern on her face. Uh, look, it's lunchtime. We'd better head home. With a look of mild relief, Z complied. Can we stop at Captain Cube's shake shop on the way out? Custom Resource Definitions, or CRDs, provide an extension mechanism that cluster operators and developers can use to create their own resource types. See you later!